All right, so the coin I wanted to look at uh, today is Travala. Uh, dot com and I think it's pretty dope because the other day when I was explaining to you um, how to go back over um, coin market cap and you look at the categories here um, and you go to travel which is somewhere in here um, and you'll find Travala so I don't necessarily recommend um, buying in right now, um, as you can see from this chart. Um, wait for a dip. Um, I personally did buy in rather late um, because I think that this is a pretty good gem. Um, they are definitely just coming to fruition and they seem like they're the first of their kind. Uh, I don't necessarily think that everything that's the first of its kind is the best of its kind. Um, but let's just check it out real quick. So here um, are is their white, or no, nope, not their white papers, but their website. Oh, we, oh, we. All right. Um, all right. So here you have their website. Um, it's basically just like a, like a, I don't want to say the name, but um, yeah, it, it seems like a Priceline um, or, or a Travelocity competitor, um, and this is for crypto. So um, it says best price is guaranteed on 2.2 million hotels. Um, we don't know that. They might be talking about crypto, uh, which they would probably be one of the only ones. Um, so you can pay with the leading cryptocurrencies um, you can check out their, their stuff I'm not saying that this is an amazing project that it's right off the uh, it does seem like it's hot off the press um, and you can pay in these currencies um, and you could use MasterCard and uh, Visa and Stripe and American Express um, so you can go to their socials if you want to really check up on them um, we're going to go to their partnership page um, cool all right interesting interesting it's very interesting um, that definitely seems like one of their uh, competitors mid 2020 so they partnered with Expedia in mid 2020 um, and they're really just come that's probably where you saw that bump um, here yeah mid 2020 this is where you saw that bump um, probably partnering uh, that partnership with Expedia did that um, and then all of this happened uh, right now so basically, they have a total supply of 61 million. Let's check, uh, see if there's anything. They're also available on Binance and KuCoin. Uh, so if you wanted to grab some, you can use uh, USDT or Bitcoin on KuCoin and uh, Binance gives you multiple options. Um, unfortunately, they don't have uh, too much data on, on this. Um, so but it is a $308 million market cap uh, and it has a $61 million or 61 million supply uh, with a circulating supply of 50 million and that's 82% of their uh, token is available. So pretty interesting, uh, not too sure how they got the 61 million number. Uh, I could you know, assume it comes with creation or burning of coins um, whether that went up or down in the past, not too sure. Um, and there's, there's really no news on them. And the reason I'm talking about this one is because I think that while it is high, um, not too many people are covering it because it's uh, a hidden gem. I don't know if it's a hidden gem at six dollars. Um, I do know that you know a month ago, um, at four dollars, it probably would have been a gem for sure. Um, I think that's a, a pretty good time to buy. But then again, we don't always know that. And we don't know where it will go. You know, maybe this is, 
an explosive um, crypto right now. Um, I just wanted to introduce one thing from that I thought was going to do okay um, and that was in a whole new market by itself. You know, you see the NFT craze, you see Bitcoin going nuts, you see all these things, uh, all these altcoins um, <laughs> hitting record highs, and you see this one as well. Um, but no one's talking about this one, and I think it's a good one to get into because, like I said, it's the first of its industry. Um, and, you know, they've got partnerships with Expedia. Um, as you saw that, you know, severely increased the, the value of the coin when that happened in mid-2020. But you also have, um, you know, the altcoin surge of 2021. People are getting into this. They're looking into these categories. And I think that this is definitely one that uh, you should look into. Um, <clears throat> I'm personally uh, waiting for a dip. I did buy a little bit, like I said, late. Um, <clears throat> but... I am going to be buying more as soon as that dip comes because I think a good entry point is about four bucks. Um, it's just what it seems like, you know. It's, it, I see it, you know. I see if it's a billion dollar market cap. I'm like, okay, I understand that, you know. Um, we can look up market caps for, you know. Um, sorry, my cap's done. <coughs> real quick I don't know any of this I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking at I wish there was something as easy as coin market cap if anyone knows it let me see it please thank you um, so here's their executive summary um, crazy amount of global destinations 30 plus payment options um, Margins. So they have a. Um, they identify the problem. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So you can read that if you'd like. Um, I love how something gives the problem of something, and then they give the solution to it. Um, so I think that's really, really, really good. Um, this is an enticing white paper to say the least. What? All right, so it's decentralized and centralized at the same time. Um, explain that, huh? But I do think that, you know, read this, you'll have a, a pretty solid understanding of that. Markets, target markets. Wow. Wow. Number of blockchain wallet users worldwide. That's pretty crazy. Huh. Yeah, guys, I really do got to tell you this. Uh, the deeper I go into this, the, the more I like it, you know. Booking, the payment, the smart, the wallet. I'm assuming that means smart interface. Oh, the smart programs, okay. Um, mobile, like this, this seems like it, you know? Um, the IPFS, wow. Wow. This is nuts. This is crazy. This is the 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 meat and the potatoes. Beautiful. Decentralized business models, decentralized sales force. Bro. Wow. Decentralized reviews. 
I, I assume someone's going to be able to get around that and still make fake ones, but that's okay. The billion dollar API, their token. Um, so here's where we get the, uh, let's see if I can have a tenuous grasp of this by the time we finish. Um, okay. So this, the repurchase and destroy, um, I'm not too sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure that means that they burn tokens. So that they've been burning tokens. Um, it's on the Binance chain, so I prefer that. Um, wow. Wow. Would you look at this? Dude. That's amazing. All right, so, oh my goodness, here we go. So they burn 187,000, 140, 000, 000, 000, uh, in January of 2021. So they just burned uh, some tokens back in January. Uh, they seem to do this every... They seem to be doing this every three-ish months. So they seem like they're coming up on another token burn. Um, so that is going to decrease the supply by a good amount. Um, that's going to be pretty sweet. I assume they will, they'll only burn about you know fifty thousand ish because they you know they did the hundred eighty seven, the hundred and forty, and then they dropped it down to fourteen, forty six, and fifty six. So I think it'll be somewhere around there this time. So you can expect you know a relatively lower burn, um, but it looks like it's about to happen. Yo, absolutely amazing stuff. So they even outline their their. Uh, competition um, threat of substitution is moderate threat of new entrance is moderate um, so here's the thing this is pretty cool so they give um, the possible uh, problems that they could run into down the road but uh, my guess is that they don't do that because they don't run into or they don't have new entrants that seek to substitute them out for someone else because they have that Expedia partnership. Just Expedia alone um, is, a, is a huge partnership to land. You know, that's why I have such faith in shopping.io because they have Amazon, Walmart, AliExpress, and eBay. Um, as partners, so I, you know, things that have those huge partners, I really think have the the greatest potential. Um, so they do have the read over this. Um, I definitely think this is pretty pretty amazing. Um, if I find anything more in detail as I go over this again, um, I'll be sure to throw it everybody's way. But in twenty twenty three, they plan to be at a uh, what they plan to be at 180 million uh, wait I'm sorry 170 million um, 2021 they plan to be at 22 million so let's see where they're at right now um, they're at a 300 million dollar market cap uh, holy crap so they're at a $300 million market cap. So they have far surpassed this. Holy shit. By 2023, they plan to be at 300 million. And they're at, or I'm sorry, they plan to be at 170 million and now they're at 300 million. That's pretty crazy. I gotta see what their room nights are. Like, cause that, that would tell you a lot about the value of the coin right now. 
And I mean, you could definitely probably make some money, but if this is really low, if they've only got 450,000 bookings, but they're at 300 million, that'd make you think twice. So definitely uh, check that out. See if you could look into it a little bit more. Um, their marketing, absolutely insane. Roadmap. Let's see what this is. Alright, so they've only got uh, for Q2. Oh, let's see, let's see. Nice. Wow, adding all of these things. Hygiene and COVID updates, that's pretty cool. Flights, packages, languages. Wow, dude. So they, they're going to make this so much more user-friendly. Um, wow. Travelbybit.com. Users migrated to Travala.com before end of life. Dude. So they're, they're going to be migrating people as well. Um, I definitely think this is going to be a sweet one. Oh my god. What? I don't know, you know, the extent of these partnerships because it says travel brands we work with. Some of these are definitely their um competitors like booking.com and priceline like I was saying, but they're in their partner um network so they're they're probably getting some good ideas from them. Uh and then these are the uh airlines. Hell yeah. These are the top um companies to work with. Uh, in terms of blockchain brands. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Pretty crazy stuff. These are all amazing companies um, that are partnered with them. And they've also got uh, it in their DNA, you know. So, pretty crazy stuff, man. Follow these guys on LinkedIn. They're all, their link's right here. Get them, uh, get them on LinkedIn. Have a conversation with them. Ask them if you can see what their uh, their bookings are. See if they'll tell you that. Huge team on this. Huge team on this. Okay, so, so far, we've got the team uh, is absolutely huge uh, for Travala. You've got amazing partnerships. You've got solid um, underlying tech in terms of transactions and bookings um, and loyalty rewards. Absolutely amazing stuff. And then you've got... Um, you know, the problem, the solution, and what else did I like about them? Um, I don't know, but their white papers, their website's nice, it's already ready to use. Um, their roadmap looks great. They're, they just came out with the roadmap for uh, Q2, and it looks like they're up to a lot of stuff. So, um, I have a lot of faith in Travala. Um, think for yourself, if the $6 mark is a good entry point for you, I definitely think that at some point in the future, it's going to be way more than $6 um, if you look at it from that way. Uh, but if you want to get the best bang for your buck, I think you know you need to wait for the dip and then go for it. Um, this is definitely one of my top picks. Um, like I said, I got to invest more into it, but this is definitely one I'm watching the most. I don't even have it starred, but I do now. Um, but... A good market cap you know this is like a smaller market cap you know this is gonna be a huge company I think they're gonna be somewhere in the billions and they have uh, 308 million already right there so it is a small market cap in terms of huge companies with a large amount of employees a large amount of uh, partnerships um, I think that's a smaller end market cap you probably wouldn't have found this one at 50 uh, million or anything, but 307 million. Also, don't forget that we looked at the um, projected market cap where they thought they were going to be in 2023, and they're already double that. Um, we just need to figure out that number of how many uh, stays they book um, in whatever time period they they listed, um, just so we can see that for a comparison and see if it's you know overvalued right now. If this is just an altcoin. Um, push right now just because the whole the whole market is bullish um so yeah that's uh my crypto for today and um i will catch you later